Hey guys, I am Kyle and in today's video I am going to show you a comparison of Wix Studio versus Squarespace. Alright, so the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to compare their templates because uh, templates is very essential when it comes to a site builder. So if you're a beginner like me who is not really a pro at building websites or so on, templates would be a great help for us because it would help us have the layout of what we uh, need to put in our website and all we have to do is just basically input all of our information here. So if you're watching this video, Video, chances are you are not a pro uh, either so templates would be a really great uh, category for us to compare so right here we have our Squarespace and here we have our Wix and as you can see uh, they both have a lot of templates that you can choose from as you can see this is from Squarespace and I think they look good right here and here is the wix one right here and you still have a lot you have 70 pages right here and with squarespace you can still scroll down all the way and yeah you can just have all of this right here it's much more limited than wix but you can build your own template with so on right here so this is their free templates right here but i think personally that uh the squarespace templates looks better than the wix it's just that wix has is more of more templates which means that you can choose more you have uh, more choices all right so now here we are in the editor page of your website right here for both Squarespace and Wix so first let's go to the Squarespace and then from here let's say you want to edit something or some sections in your template so for example I want to edit this so as you can see I this would pop up right here click on edit site header and then from here you can click on add elements if you'd want to you can click on that you can even uh, go for a cart if you'd want that and then there would be a cart right here or you could just click on edit design and then from here you would have a bunch of settings that you can use you can go for height drop shadow and so on right here so yeah you can just do that and now for the other elements let's move on right here so let's say you want to edit the button so let's say you want to click this button and from here I can customize the button shape right here I can go for tertiary I can go for secondary I can go for primary and so on right here and I can even edit this right here when I click on pencil and then from here I can go into design and then I can go for fit I can go for this one or this one right here so I think this is not really that editable I expect that I would be able to edit the, sh the shape and maybe some curves in the edges and maybe edit the colors but I don't think I'm able to do that right here so yeah I think this is a point off for Squarespace right here because this is uh, yeah I just wish that I was able to edit the color and so on right here so yeah that is basically the gist on how you can edit this and by the way you can also add a section right here so for example you want to add this section and then you can just do that right here as easy as that so yeah that's very easy and then you can also click on add block and then you would have the blocks that you would need right here all right, so now let's move on into Wix on their um, site builder editor page. And then right here, as you can see, their UI is very different compared to Squarespace. As you can see, we have our toolbar right here at the side, which I think is much better compared to Squarespace, where you can not see a toolbar, but instead you would get this pop-ups right there. So I think uh, Wix would be a winner for the uh, ease of use for this one because you can just go for ad section, pages, menu, site design, and so on right here and you can just uh, click on the section that you want to edit and then you can have the quick edit you can change the header design you can click on quick edit right here and then you would be able to see the look studio and so on right there and you can just edit the name and you can go for header scroll settings and you would have some animations compared to Squarespace where I think I would I wasn't able to easily find the animations where I can add some animations into this one but with Wix you would be able to easily do that right here as you can see when the uh, visitors visitor scrolls the header will have these animations and so on right there and for example I want to animate this then I can just click on this animation and then I would have some animations for that and I think this is a game changer for a website builder right here because this is very important 
in order for you to entice your customers or your visitors into your website that this is professionally done and the next thing is uh, let's go find a button again since we weren't able to fully edit it in the square space so let's see if we can edit the colors of the button right here on wix so let's click on the submit button right here and we're gonna go for uh, we have the design button so we can click on that now right here you can just uh you can just design your button as you can see it changes the colors right here it even changes the shape and so on and you can even customize your own design and you would have a bunch of templates which i think is really good so yeah i think wix would win with this one right here because it's much easier and uh ha you have more options right here in terms of editing your own style into your templates and now let's move on to the pricing so this is the uh, pricing plans of wix and you would have a lot of choices you can go for website plans uh, business and e-commerce plans and enterprise plans right here and for the squarespace this is all you have you can pay for annually pay monthly and so on and i've been comparing the prices and i think uh squarespace is slightly more expensive than wix so if you convert this into uh dollars right here this is around 17 dollars i think that yeah it is around that if you compare that into wix right here it is much more expensive but if you go for the business and e-commerce plans then i think it's basically the same so yeah but in wix you have more options right here because of course you can go for just website plans and so on so it would just boil down on which one would suit your budget and the flexibility that would come to that so i hope this video helped you out thank you for watching